Zion Williamson, who a lot of people believe is the greatest up-and-coming basketball player. I don't know that we necessarily uh, agree He's with in that. there, though. He's, he's, he's fun. He's, we don't, this, is, this is a pro-Zion podcast. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We're definitely pro-Zion. Mark Slaybaugh I mean, we're, has We're article. very much Team Ja if we have to divide up teams. But we like Zion. I don't Zion. know why you have to do that. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I grew up loving Tom and Peyton. You don't have to love one and hate the other. This is not the Lord and the devil, okay? You got that right. Uh, Mark Slayball said attorneys representing Zion Williamson's former marketing representative and her company have asked the New Orleans Pelican star to admit that his mother and stepfather demanded and received gifts, money, and other benefits from persons acting on behalf of Adidas and Nike and also from people associated with Duke University to influence him to sign with the Blue Devils and to wear Nike or Adidas products. Williamson, who played one season at Duke before becoming the number one pick in the 2019 NBA draft, sued Gina Ford and Prime Sports in June in an attempt to terminate his marketing agreement with her company. Williamson's attorneys claimed that the contract was in violation of North Carolina's Uniform Athlete Agents Act because Prime Sports is not certified by the NBA Players Association nor a registered athlete agent in North Carolina or Florida. And there's a lot more stuff that goes into it, but basically, this is like in the middle of this lawsuit. They are trying to get Zion Williamson's family to admit that they ex- that, like they agreed to and accepted gifts from Duke and everything else. Um, one, it's not going to happen. They, this is just a, a ploy to make some some news on this lawsuit that's been going on for a while now. Ooh, I, we we I think we disagree here. Then okay, go ahead, go ahead, fill, fill I, me in here. I think I think part of the things that he accepted were part of things that they negotiated for him and they are trying to show uh, evidence and good faith that we, you know, we did these things that we were supposed to do. We're owed what we're owed. I I absolutely think that it's relevant. This is not just trying to bring down Duke here because these people obviously have a relationship with all these schools, all these universities. They wouldn't want to burn one. They're, They're doing this as part of the lawsuit that they're trying to win. This is not a, I don't think this is a media ploy. I think there's information that they need and and th- there's there's more language in the contract that we don't we're not privy to to state that you did get these gifts, you did get these things given to you and we got them for you. We negotiated this, which means we're owed our cut, we're owed our percentage. Uh Sharonda Sampson, Williamson's mother and Lee Anderson his stepfather quote, demanded and received gifts and uh, economic benefits from persons acting on behalf of Duke University directly and or indirectly to influence Williamson to attend Duke to play basketball. Uh, There's a bunch of these, so I'm going to – I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, They – let's see. They demanded gifts from uh, Nike to attend Duke. They demanded and received gifts, money, and or other benefits from persons acting on behalf of Adidas to wear Adidas shoes. Um – Let's see. Da, 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 da. They, uh, before becoming a student at Duke, Williamson, or persons acting on his behalf, uh, including but not limited to Sharonda Sampson and Lee Anderson, accepted uh, da, 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 benefits from an NCAA certified agent that are not expressly permitted by the NCAA legislation. Uh, in a separate filing last week, Ford's attorneys asked Williamson to disclose his and his parents' addresses where he attended Duke. Da, 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 da. There's a... Uh, Let's see. There's there's several more. So basically, what you're saying, I think, is probably right. Probably right. They they, they just, got put together all of these uh, different things, and they're saying we did what we were supposed to do, and we are owed that. Yeah, you're now trying to terminate the contract, but we haven't been made whole. That's what I think is happening. I'm I'm going to tell you this. So you know, I'm very much pro player, and I hate the players going down. For, for these people getting paid under the table. This is the, this is the ruthlessness of college football and college basketball um, in the way it is. Um, Pat Forty sent out a tweet. He wrote an article about this, but there's just there's one line. This tells everybody exactly what you think about this, okay? This is how most of the country feels unless you're a Duke fan. Nobody really cares whether Zion got paid, but a lot of people care if – Duke Blue Devils and Nike skate it while dozens of other schools are being busted, investigated, and probed. And majority of all those schools are Adidas schools. Yeah. And this is where the FBI, who's who's bringing this raid down, 
there's been a lot of scrutinization. Scrutinized. They've been heavily scrutinized by yeah. saying it's really funny that Adidas has less schools than Nike. We believe all of these schools are cheating. You've got one Nike school, which is LSU, and the rest are all Adidas schools. And we find that very interesting because that's not how statistics are supposed to work. 80% of the schools are Nike schools, but 90% of the schools that you've called are all Adidas schools. And I think the only reason you got a, a Nike school was because he used to be at an Adidas school. And yeah. he, the investigation started at his previous job. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. That's where you get shady, shady dealings going. Okay. Ben said NCAA picks and chooses, and it's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. They don't want to pick hurt and the cash choose your blue bloods because they're going after Kansas. Kansas is a blue blood they normally wouldn't want to touch. Well, but the Kansas right? stuff came out in court and all that. It so. Uh, but it took them four years to actually send an NOA to Kansas. Oh, there's so. still going to be four years. I mean, it's, the NOAs for all these schools are going to be. I mean, now they're going to take two or three more years fighting it. So yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be the wild. timeline is irrelevant. It is the problem is is the pristine of Coach K. I've been saying it forever. Everybody in college basketball hates Cal, and everybody loves K. And at some point in time, we have to realize they're the same person. They're playing the same game. And if you love one and hate the other, then shame on you. Yeah. Okay? Because you're blinded. If you hate Cape Cow because he because he's shady and he's dirty and he, he works these deals for these kids, he's the only one taking care of the kids. 100%. 100%. Coach K's taking care of himself. And if he had to burn these kids to, to, to skate, he will. He absolutely will. I agree He's with the same you. Same mean cuss as all the rest of them. <laughs> um, right quick.